Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluto Channel. Today I'm doing a paid review for Gazza, for Gary. And uh, Gazza says, Hi Arch, I need your help. After loving watches for my whole life of nearly 50 years, I feel like I've lost my watch mojo. Mojo. I've owned nearly 200 watches, everything from Timex to Rolex. After about a dozen Rolexes, in fact, lots of Amigas too, and even a Breguet Type 20 like you. Ah, the Bregster! The Bregster. Lately, I have become so disgusted with the amount of time and energy I've been putting into my watches, my, into my watch habit, that I decided to take the nuclear option. I completely nuked my entire watch collection, sold everything, and left myself with one lonely G-Shock. Fuck! <coughs> That's it. I am planning on taking a year off. <coughs> my goal is to buy zero watches in 2018. Then I'll see how much I feel and maybe I'll get back into watches. What do you think about this? Am I crazy? Was I crazy to buy and sell so many? Sending $30 to your PayPal. Also, I'm going to be in Brisbane with some free time on Thursday, February 9th. Would love to grab lunch or dinner. What do you say? Gary! Gary, I would love to catch up. Guys, ever since I've had some cryptocurrency mudgeon loan disasters, I'm available for lunch and dinner most days of the week. Please consider calling Archie Luxury. I also am available to cut lawns in the greater Brisbane area. I will cut grass. I always like to cut my grass well. Also, mild chainsaw. Chainsaw work as well. A little bit of tree clearing as well. Guys, let's have a talk about this. I know exactly where Gaza is coming from. Fuck! Me dead. Uh, 200 watches is a lot of watches. How many have I churned and burned? I reckon I've probably. I reckon I've probably. See, I've done a little wheel of dealing. Wheel of dealing! <clears throat> I reckon I've probably done. Oh, I, 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 I would say three, four hundred watches. And that, that's a lot of watches, let me tell you that. I mean, I, I've owned. Let's just clarify this. I've owned. Uh, probably about 10 paddocks. Uh, some of those are ladies. Uh, but the bitches, they weren't given to the bitches, they were mine. Uh, Jegula Kultra, I've only had a few of those. I've had only one Vacheron. Breguet, I've had about four Bregsters. Uh, I only had one IWC. Omega, I've had a fair few Omegas. Rolex, I've had heaps. Probably over 100, 150, 200 Rolexes, I would say. Uh, Cartier. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's a nasty brand. Cartier. Uh, look, I understand exactly. You know, sometimes watches can give you the fucking shits. I know exactly. Gaza, I know. I've been there. I, I sometimes get so fucking sick of watches. And, you know, uh, at the moment I'm wearing a Tissot. Tissot. Tyso. Uh, I'm only wearing that because I'm trying to sell my Breitling, my Breitling Super Ocean. Gary, I think that is a, I think that is a, I understand you exactly. Now, I think myself, <clears throat> I think you could come back, let, let me, let me say this to you. <clears throat> How about if you came back with one super watch, one super duper magnificent watch. What do you reckon about that, Gaz? I'm thinking maybe a Lange one, a Lange one. What do you reckon? A Lange one? Could that, you know, uh, a, uh, a just some fuck off Patek? Maybe that's the way to come back. Uh, I I understand exactly what you mean. I've never really found wristwatch perfection that makes me happy. Even when I had two Pateks, I was always, I was never. Maybe I'm just a miserable complainer fucker. Ma miserable complainer. Um, I I get exactly where you come from. I mean, I, I'm in I'm in a couple schools. One school is saying option one is go for a fuck 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 off piece. 
like a Lang Lang A1, um, like a some sort of paddock. Uh, what else was like an AP Royal Oak? Because <clears throat> any other fucking Royal AP is dog shit. The only fucking AP to get would be a it has to be a Royal Oak, whether it's an offshore or a classic Royal. Go 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 Royal Oak. Every fucking thing else in AP is just fucking unsellable. Option two would be to say, okay, yes, I like, I know there's better and I know there's cheaper, but let's go for a really cool Rolex. Really cool Rolex. So, I mean, you could pick something like, um, I mean, I, I, I've always loved the Explorer 2. That's my confession. But if you're coming into a different context, you could say, well, I really liked the Batman. No, 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 Batman! 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 Go for something like that. You know, Batman, maybe a Daytona, if you can, if you can swing that. Oh, even a sub. Man, even a sub. You know, a sub would be cool. Option three would be to say, okay, Fuck it, I want a combo deal. I want a combo meal deal. I want bang per buck. Bang per buck. So, I mean, I I, I would pick, uh, what would I pick? Bang per buck bargains. Okay, so let's look at that. So I'd say an Amiga, Speedmaster, man on the fucking moon. Uh, I would also say you would have to pick uh, what else would you pick? I reckon for for a good budget compact collection, you'd want some sort of Rolex. Um, let's say you went for a um, an Explorer Two, Explorer Two, or you know like a Black Dial. You don't you don't have to go polar. You don't have to go polar. Then I would say we want some sort of diver. So maybe maybe a Tudor, Tudor, Black Bay Heritage. And maybe some sort of a dress sort of thing there. You might go for a, a reverso. You could go for a IWC Portuguese. That's as a combo meal deal. I reckon this is time for you to rethink, work out what did you really love in those pieces. I mean, I've got to tell you, I was, I'm a fucking hopeless flipper. Hopeless fucking flipper. Flip, fuck, be dead. Did I flip these fuckers? Flipper, fucker, fuck, fuck, flippers, fuckers, flippers. I used to flip these fuckers all the time, you know? But <clears throat> I gotta say, you know, I came back into the collection. I regrouped and I thought, you know, I really, really, really want a paddock. Okay? I really love my reverso. My reverso. Reverso Grande Date. Then I said to myself, okay, that's two of my, my, my dressy horology pieces done. I had my world time. I wasn't necessarily searching for a world time. I rang my friend Ronnie at Vintage Watch Co. I said, Ronnie, <clears throat> I'm looking for... I actually said I'm looking for either a, a two-tone subby, bluesy, or an entry-level paddock. And he said, hey, I got a world time that's a great price for you. So I got the World Time <clears throat> and the Jaeger La Coutre Reverso Grande, Grande Date. Then I wanted the, <clears throat> I always wanted, to me, in my, I always loved the Explorer 1 Polar. Explorer 2 Polar. It's always been my, my way. I always loved the Speedmaster Man on the fucking Moon. Okay, so I got those four combo pieces. I'm thinking, what else do I want? And <clears throat> Scotty... Scotty, my mate Scotty, was selling an Ingenua with the in-house movement. I thought, fuck, I want it. Just beautiful. And then I started thinking, what do I really love? What do I really like? And I thought, fuck it. I love the Bregster, the Breguet, Breguet Type 20. And I would have preferred it on a bracelet, which I, I managed to track. Okay, I got it from fucking Midget Land in Tokyo. <clears throat> I know, it cost me, that was an expensive mistake. But, hey, you learn something along the way. Then I said... You know, what else do I want? What else do I really fucking want? I wanted a diver, a discount diver. So that's how I've kind of come back and said, well, I've had a few Super Ocean Steelfish, and I really wanted the Heritage. That would be the cool one to have. So 
you know, you come back and you regroup. Now, I don't really want to sell my pieces. I love my pieces. But it's because I've, I've flipped them in the past. I've said, right, I am fucking sticking to this like shit to a blanket. So that's kind of how I've done. So i got to tell you, Gazzy, Gazzy, um, I... I completely understand where you're coming from. There are times that wristwatches really fucking shit me off, you know. Uh, but I think this could be a great time. Regroup. What gives you pleasure? What gives you pleasure? And I, I got to say, I, I really love my collection of pieces. I really, really, really do love my wristwatches. I love my wristwatches. And I'm I'm kind of happy. I'm really happy now. So, um, yeah, I, I understand exactly. I, I So you're asking the question, what do you think about this? I understand. So I've given you three different paths you could choose. Are you crazy? No, no, I completely understand where you're coming from. I mean, you can't build an ultimate car stable of cars if you've never fucking driven a Porsche 911, you've never driven a convertible Merc, you've never driven a Beamer, you got to have fucking tested it to rebuild and regroup. Was I crazy to buy and sell so many? No, this is life. Man, we're going to get one fucking chance in life. That's it, one chance. There ain't no fucking prizes. Prizes for... You, you, you've tried things, you've enjoyed them. Do you regret any of the bitches you've fucked? I mean, Evil Knievel... Evil Knievel, they said to Evil Knievel, he, he was watching a documentary on Aristotle Onassis, and he said, I fucked more beautiful women than Aristotle Onassis. I had more Rolls Royces, more Ferraris, and uh, there's nothing envious I'd want from Aristotle Onassis. He lived a better life, you understand? Both men, both men died, died, and, and, and uh, they, they went into a box. That's it. See, that's, that's, that's the answer. So uh, I understand exactly where you're coming from, Gazza. And Gazza's been a great fan. Gary, you've been a fucking... Uh, you, you've done a, quite a few paid reviews. And I, I appreciate it, Gazza. Your name, I, I recognize your name there. So good on you. No, I think a bit of a hiatus is exactly right. Do that and regroup and fucking live life. Live life to the fullest. I'm Paul Pluter on the Paul Pluter channel. Tell me what you fuckers, you nasty vinyl fuckers. Think of that. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel, and my good friend Tan Zillin. Tan Zillin. Answering super chats, it's not about the money. It's not about the money. I feel like I'm doing my passion. Tan Zillin, simply the best. And uh, he's got another one for you here. How's this? Uh, it's uh, not about the money. It's not about the money. It's uh, my passion. Shaitling on time. Simply the best. Now, guys, I got to tell you, I struggle to survive full time on YouTube. Please look in the description below for 10 ways you can keep me full time on YouTube. Guys, I really need your help. Please consider getting a paid, paid video review. I'll do a review on any watch, any question you want. Guys. You can sponsor me on Patreon. You can sponsor me for as little as a dollar a month. A dollar a month. And that just keeps me going on full time on YouTube. Guys, you could also... I do phone calls. Phone calls. You can talk to me for an hour on the phone. Skype or WhatsApp for 50 US dollars. Guys, I really do need your help to stay full time. Ben cannot survive on Google Ads alone. Please help me. Please help me stay full time on YouTube. And guys, don't forget that. It's uh, not about the money. It's uh, my passion. Shakling on time. Simply the best. Tanzillan, thank you. That's a sponsored bit from Tanzillan. I can do that for $150 a month if you email me directly. Look below for my email address, guys. Okay.